Hello and welcome to live coverage of this evening's Lock 41 Premier Intermediate League game between Ballymacash Rangers and Lisburn Distillery here at the Bluebell. I am Johnny Dunlop and I am joined in commentary by former Ballymacash player manager Michael Galt. Hi Michael. How's it going? Too bad. Thanks for joining us this evening. No worries. As a man with, with experience, obviously, as a player manager at Bally McCash, how do you see this game going tonight? Well, I was using the term loose deal player manager. I was, I was manager, no doubt about that, but player, that's debatable. But no, they've been off an absolute flyer. Uh, it's great to see. Great facilities, great club, great people. Um, no, my time here was, was superb. I loved it. I had plenty of support, like Sabulo, the chairman, Tommy Hazley. Johnny Leckie, you know, it was fantastic. I loved it, and it just went from strength to strength. So it was great to see about Lisburn, and obviously in a, in a, in a derby game against the Distillery, and a very young side managed by Barry Johnson. So it's 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 a it's going to be a good game, and Ban McCash obviously starts strong favourites, and they've been doing very very well in the league. So it'll be good to see a good game tonight. It probably shows how far Bally McCash have come in the last couple of years. You know, they're they're in the league you know, while Lisburn Distillery have been out of the top flight now for, for near on a decade. They're still a recognised and big name in Ash League football. Bally McCash, as you say, go into this game as favourites against them. Yeah, it, it's a big surprise. And when I first came to Bally McCash Distillery, we were still playing in Championship Two, as, as I still call it, and we were trying to get out of the Mid Ulster League. And when I left, obviously Lee for Seth came on, done a brilliant job, and got them through. And Again, the, the tables have probably turned. I think Bally McCash strongest side in Lisburn now, but again, it's it's a big derby. It form form go out the window, and just looking forward to a very evening contest of game. And as we can see here, the the, the Silvery side are very very young, and Bally McCash have some established Irish league players in the, in the side as well. So it's going to be very exciting and. And just uh, we'll see what the what, what the game brings. Yeah, you made a comment there about the distillery team. I, I make them an average age of, of twenty two. And um, I was speaking to Boy Johnson just before the game, and he, he commented only three of last season's squad are still there. He, he has literally had to do a rebuild over the summer. And um, obviously that brings his own issues and own, own problems in regards to the bed and the bed and players in, doesn't it? Yeah, hundred percent. Boy's a good friend of mine, and he's got lots of contacts in the game. And obviously he's seen he need, need to bring a lot of new players in, which he has done. But it takes a bit of time. That they've started off a bit slow in the league, but they had a great win against Mayola, I think it was, and uh, they're doing well. And Barry's a great coach, great manager. So, yeah, it's going to set them up for, for an interesting season. And I think this season is on to secure security and uh, Ballon and Catch of other ambitions, obviously. I think once the season started, I think they probably wanted to secure their place in the league. But the way things have went, that they've been one of the top sides. So they'll, they'll get a bit greedy, probably, and think they'll maybe do towards promotion, which is, could be a good thing, but it could be a bad thing as well. I am um, just about to kick us off here in uh, Lisburn Distillery. About to, to kick off here, I'll just do a quick run through the teams here. Bally McCash line up with, with Brian Neeson, Matthew Parker, Orrin Sharkey, Jordan Morrison, Stuart Clark, Zach Barr, Jack Smith, Josh Cahoon, Curtis Woods, Justin Armstrong, and Dylan Davidson. Their substitutes are Thomas McComb, Stephen Glasgow, Michael Moore, Gareth Tommins, Kike. Jonathan Newell and Josh McKee. Lisburn Distillery line up with Ethan Carey and goals. Then of Arn Smith, Ethan Warnock, Arden McCart, Jack Patton, Dylan Sinnerton, Lewis Higginson, Justin Gratton, Joshua Lynch, Matthew Swan, and Robert Robinson. And their bands consist of Caelan Young, Carson Elliott, Stephen Jordan Shearer, Jonathan Gray, James Morgan, Jonathan Angus, and Jack Fleming. I actually feel a bit old. I've taught three or four of these uh, <laughs> distillery boys here, so I'm not, I'm not telling you my age, but yeah, Ethan Carrying Gold's had him for a couple of years at Hamburg Centre, and Dylan Sinderton as well, and Bobby Robinson, so know the few of the Lisbon distillery boys. The ball in and around the Bally McCash box here, but they had tennis going on, um, but there's an offside. For viewers tuning in tonight, Michael, what players would you would you recommend watching out for? Who can change the game? Who can be that, that player that takes the game by the scruff of the neck and, and makes their, their mark on it this evening? Yeah, well, I think at the bottom of the cast side, you got Dylan Davidson, who was at like Glentorn and Cole Ray and places like that, and Jack Smith. I actually played with Jack Smith at the Crusaders for a while and used to drop Jack home, and he's a very, very good player. He's played for Cumber Rack, places like that there, and Jordan Morrison at the back as well as an excellent centre half. you got Josh Cahoon as well. He played with Josh at Limfield and he went to Dungallon. I recognise Josh as a centre forward, but he's been playing centre half and doing very well. So 
yeah, very, very, very good side of experience. Justy Armstrong in the ball now had him as well. So, yeah, it's excellent all over the park and definitely some players to keep an eye out for. Yeah, yeah. You, especially though you, you speak about Jack Smith. I believe he's five goals in, in five five league games since his move from Portadown to Bally McCash in, in the summer. He's really started like a house on fire here, hasn't he? Brilliant player, yeah. I tried to set him a couple of times, to be honest, when he was a, before he went to Portadown and obviously he didn't come, but he's, he's, he's came since the left and excellent player and, Obviously, the stats you just showed there, he's, he's, he's a goal scorer and he's very, very hungry. He's a very busy player as well, very fit. So, again, he's a good fit for Balmacash. Good tackle there. A pumped up feed by, by Valley McCash keeper Neeson meets the header of, of Zach Barr, but the linesman has his flag up. I was talking there, Michael, to, to, to Lee Forsyth just before the game. We spoke about Valley McCash's great start, and you know, while it's early days and, and everything like that, is we is um, oh, looks. Big shout, sir, for, for a free kick for, for Lisbon to still be right on the edge of the Bally McCash box. I, th I think it was, yeah. That Raymond Crangle, obviously one of the best referees about. Um, Raymond's closer than us, obviously, and that he didn't give it. And the Bally McCash here remonstrating here. I, I think it was a free kick, to be honest. Yeah, it looked like Lewis, number seven there, Lewis Higginson, right on the edge of the box, but Raymond Crangle wasn't having any of it and waved away any protests. I hear we to criticise Raymond Crangle now. <laughs> I promised him I wouldn't give him a touch, but he's prancing about there in his luminous yellow, lovely referee suit there. So, no, he's, a, he's the best about it. He's brilliant. And to come down in the referee game in uh, obviously the lower leagues and compared to what he's used to, it's brilliant to have him here. He's a, he's a great personality, but, he, but he's a great referee. It's great to see him here. No, uh, oh, that's a, that's a really bad back pass there, Ooh. and it nearly presented Dylan Sinderton. was nearly nearly given the chance there to, to give really Lisburn to still be the lead. A real back pass, there, and it nearly presented nice sloppy there, a really bad yeah, back pass. Indeed, but Dylan McCash keeper, Bob Neeson, bravely down at the, at the feet there to, to Smuller and prevent the lead. He actually looked around to see if anyone was there, and he still passed it. And, Lucky enough, Bam Neeson was on his toes and was able to defend the good. The still we have started the batter side here in the opening opening few minutes. And here we go. So Jack Smith there has got a touch in that. Mm. And it's just cleared off the line there by Orden McCart. Orden McCart on loan from Lauren yeah. as well. He's a, he's a very good player. No Nairn set up as well. And obviously, I know Barry he signed them and they, they gave him first team football, which will help Lauren Football Club as well. Only... Just in, into the, the fifth minute here, and it's two great chances. We could have two goals already. Yeah, f very frantic start here already. Corner here to Bally McCash. Dylan Davidson to take. Oh, oh it, it went Smith. through a rock of players there and failed for Jack Smith, but he has he didn't seem to connect with it cleanly and has, has sent it over the bar. Oh, from inside oh, the six yard oh, box, that's another great went. chance. It's actually a very poor corner from Dylan Davison, not like him. And yeah, defender missed it and just came through three or four players. And Jack Smith, we've, we've, we've talked about getting his goals, and he'd be very, very disappointed there. Could have had two goals there within, <laughs> within a minute. <laughs> yeah, I think the, the corner sort of surprised the, the yeah. defense. There. I think they were they were expecting a, a looping corner, but it was like you say, Michael, a poor corner. And, and advance he made his way to Jack Smith, who, sh who should really have found the target. Yeah, definitely be very, very disappointed there. And I think that's a good chance for, for both sides already. As you say, only just five minutes going right now. So, very open game, as, as we're probably expected there. And so, uh, as we're saying there, you know, speaking to Lee Forsyth, you know, before the game, and I asked him, you know, was promotion a realistic target for, for Bally McCash? What, what do you think, Michael? Actually, funny enough, I was speaking to Lee this morning as well, and to be fair, when the season started, you'd be looking to think, as long as you maybe get top six, it'd be a great season from where they came from, but they've actually started the season brilliantly, and, you know, as yourself, supporters get greedy, and they think, look, we have a chance of getting promoted here, so I think it's a, maybe it's even a bad thing, they've, they've done so well now, all of a sudden the supporters are expecting them to go up to Championship 1, but again, the, from where they came from, the, that big jump to go to Championship 1 so early would be... For, uh, if it comes your way, you take it, obviously. But again, there'll be need to be more significant investment, bringing better players in. And again, I just I wouldn't think they'd be ready just yet there. But 
if it, if it comes your way, you, you have to take it. Certainly. Another corner here to Bally McCash. Dylan Davidson again. Same again, Per. Yeah, it's clear that the first attempt there by the distillery. Orange Sharky there, but he's he's a judge to have committed a foul and a, a free kick to, to Lisburn Distillery just outside there. I forgot to mention Aaron Sharky before the match as well, a good friend of mine and I brought him in. He's a, he's an excellent player, he's where my number four. <laughs> doesn't fill him Max, he hasn't filled it out yet, but no, a brilliant player, very competitive, really, really, really good player. Just gets about the pitch, does his job, no nonsense. There's about ten for saying that. <laughs> Free kick here to, to Bally McCash. Um, just sticking with Jordan Morrison. But that free kick has went straight through a night for a goal kick. I think I was a shot from Jordan, probably. You actually brought Jordan Morrison to the I, club, is that right, Michael? I did. I've got, I've got the receipt here still in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Jordan, he came from the Della. It took me a long time to get him to, come to, to drop down to, to Bally McCash there. And he's been outstanding. Yeah, very, very good. Good, very... Excellent in the air. I was going to say he has a good strike of the ball, but just in the last free kick there wasn't wasn't really great, but no, he's good technique. As you see here now, oh, he missed that ball as well. So what do I know? Molly Parker, he hooks that clear for a throw into distillery inside the Lisburn or Bally McCash half. Lewis Higginson. Ball finds here to Joshua Lynch. Great he ball. looks for the run of Dylan Sinnerton. He puts a great cross, but there's just nobody there to meet it. But it falls here to Justin Grattan. But he's charged down. Yeah, it was a good ball in there down the right hand side. Dylan Sinnerton raced on to get on to it and good ball in, but the ones are to get the head on it. Talking, going back to talking about Bally McCash, very reminiscent of another one of your former clubs in Anna United, who sort of bounced straight into you know into the the championship out of. They'll, they'll get better. They'll get better when I leave. Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Johnny? <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. Cameron Gergen's done a fantastic job there, and it's it was great to play a wee partner as well. I enjoyed my time there, and Bally McCash as well. I'm so proud of taking the club and play the part as well, and attracting good players and players still here who I brought in and. It's really around the corner for me as well, so it's it's great to see. And if I can help them in any way, still to this day, I'd only be too happy to do it. And I feel like it's it's it's, it's my club, and it's only around the corner. And hopefully the the bar man's listening here to give give me cheap <laughs> pints here on a, on a, at the weekend there. But no, it's it's a lovely family club. My brother's taking the my the two young nephews play for the club as well. My brother takes one of the teams and come down here. I'm always welcoming in. It's it's great and. Still get charged in, by the way, but <laughs> it's no, it's it's a great club and it's one of the best decisions I've ever made in football. I was I was hitting in hand about it, whatever, but I took the job on and, and I loved it. Dylan Davidson there, but his ball to the edge of the, the steady box is cleared. Good battler between Matthew Parker and Dylan Sinnerton. Robert Robertson with a with a long ball, but it's only as far as Josh Cahoon who goes back to Bob Neeson. Dylan Davison with the interchange here with Jack Smith. Lovely ball as Jack Smith goes on a goes on a mazy run. Good tackle. But there's a good tackle and the ball with Justin Grattan. Just for the first tackle there. Yeah, some some which you know my style of play football. I love I love seeing the tackles going in here. It's, it's been taken out of the game a wee bit, but some very, very hard bit of tackles here, which is great to see. Another appeals for a foul and the referee has given Molly Parker there a judge to have hauled down Dylan Sinnerton that's a good wee battle to keep an eye on so far Sinnerton and Parker Joshua Lynch here from Lisburn Distillery Setting the ball up here. He'd be looking to put this ball into the Bally McCash box and ask questions of his, of his teammates. See who can get on the end of it. Josh! 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 Lynch with the, the cross in, but. Uh, disappointed in that there. Great possession to get a good ball in the box. And 
Center half getting up from the back. Seals into the keeper's arms. Maddie Parker helps that ball on, but just a the defender there. Dylan Davison with a, a long looping ball into the distillery box, but Ethan Carey collects comfortably. Space pass or is the still we have a, a throw in here? Yeah, it's typical Derby day, isn't it? There's, there's tackles flying, there's, there's misplaced passes. I think the boys are trying overly hard probably at the minute. And yeah, it's all like you described at the start. It's very frantic, isn't it? Yeah. Again, I've been involved in these games loads and loads and loads. It's about winning the second balls, winning the tackles, and hopefully it helps your team. Senator helps that on. Great ball. Offside. <laughs> Lovely reverse ball there, but Dylan Sinnerton, the judge to be offside. As him and Bam Neeson exchange pleasantries. Mm -hmm. Lewis Higginson, he looks for the run of Matthew Swan. Swan has an effort on the, on the half volley, but he sends that over the bar. Another good chance here for Lisburn Distillery. Jack Smith helps that on, but it's too much pace on this flicked header, and that falls through to. Lisburn just tell we keep her carry. It's a great touch from Dylan. Good tackle again. These tackles are brilliant. It is a real derby feel yeah. here, isn't it? All good hard fur tackles, which yep. is great to see. And obviously Raymond Crankle knows the game inside out and he's letting the flow really well. <laughs> Throw in the Bally McCash level with Lisburn to still lose 18 yard box. Curtis Woods looks to launch this possibly into the box. Stands with arms by his side looking, looking for someone. Finds Stuart Clark. Typical Stuart Clark. That's Stuart as well. Very, very good. Great engine on him. Gets about the park and on the side of the corner there. Jordan Morrison's great near. So there you go, there's my prediction of this corner here. There Michael. we go. The Bally McCash captain making making his way up into the 18 yard box. He scores his ain't going home. <laughs> Dylan Davidson to float the corner in. But that's another Again, poor that's corner that's cleared at the near post. The third one as well. He'd be very and disappointed. An by Arndt Sharkey, but Lisburn to still be on the break here. Great tackle with again, Maddie. But that's a great tackle by Maddie Parker. With the ball ended back with his goalkeeper. <laughs> Maddie Parker in front there of, of Sinner. That's a great battle one to look out for there. That's not the first time going to hit Barry Johnson anyway. Arn Smith here to take the throw for Distillery. He finds Joshua Lynch who goes long looking for Bobby Robinson, but Robinson fails to control and the ball goes out for a Bally McCash throw. Still Bally McCash Rangers nil, Lisburn Distillery nil here in the lock 41 Premier Intermediate. Synergy just in front there of, of Parker. 
Yeah, very yeah. clumsy from Matty there. Dylan Simmons looked very, very lively. Although Dylan Simmons from Lock Lock Hill days, he's a he's a kind of having as well coming through. Very good, exciting young player, and Barry still made around the club, and he's very, very exciting. Yeah. Senate and former Cliftonville and Glen Alvin, yeah. midfielder or, or forward, 19 years of age, and, and has been the still be shining light here so far in these opening 17 minutes. Joshua Lynch here for with a free kick for Lisburn Distillery. Looking to float this into the Bally McCash box. The last time it was a bit wasted here, so again set pieces on both sides. It's a better one there. That's headed clear by Jordan Bally McCash. Morrison. Captain Morrison. Picked up here by Lynch. He looks for the cross in again. Oh, well, yeah. Dylan Davidson's up there but the ball makes its way back through to distillery keeper Carey Morrison up there again Sharky uh, looked to offside. Who, a quick free kick there, ready right idea, but unfortunately offside. Quick free kick there by Distillery after Arn Sharky was a judge who committed a foul, but too quick and uh, offside. Oh, my gosh, I haven't found the rhythm yet at all, have they? No, no lots of, like you were saying earlier, all make a lots of loose balls and misplaced passes. Yeah. They still we come into this game with only one win in their opening five they're, they're, Premier Intermediate games. While they've impressed me so far, yeah. very, very young, energetic side, and they're, they're doing well. They say about Derby's form goes out the window, and it's certainly shown in these opening 19 minutes here. Jack Smith with a throw. Bit of trickery here from Zach Ooh. Barr. His Smith cleared. There at the back post. Good position. Horn Smith obviously been about the league for a long, long time. I thought, listen, when I won player of the year for the league, Aaron Smith won young player of the year as well. Went to my house beforehand and went to the Dune Europa after. So the guy, and I was going to remember what happened that night, to be honest. <laughs> Arn Smith, who's been with Carrick and Glen Torn. Yeah, very, very good experienced player. And Barry Johnson had him to James with Swift as well, so trusted player. Never lets Barry down. Excellent player. One of the elder statesmen in the, the yeah. distillery 11. He, he brings an average age up, doesn't he? Yeah, he's at 35. The, the average age of the distillery team this evening is 22. A lot of youngsters in that team, but they're holding their own so far here. Yep. Let's kick there with Jack Smith picking up the loose ball. Smith flashes an effort across goal, yeah. but it doesn't really bother Carey. Good save, ha good save hands from Ethan Carey there, yeah, but Jack Smith done the right thing. Got in there and had a snapshot there and hoping to catch the keeper off in a bad position, but Ethan was there. Morrison. But Orrin Smith's there to win that header. In front of Davidson. We had to see a match like this, Michael. You know, looking round here, you know, it, you know, it, it's brilliant to see crowds like this at Ashley games, even you know, below the Premiership. It always is. Obviously, it was Manson here as well, but the atmosphere and, and, and the people around the place is, is brilliant, and the social club as well. Like after the matches, is full and passionate supporters, and it's just great to see. Actually, probably the stream being on tonight is probably. Brought the crowd down a wee tiny bit there, but no, it's, there's still maybe four or five hundred here tonight, and it's great to see a great club in Lisbon do, doing so well. And obviously, Lisbon and Stilly were, were a brilliant team when I was playing, challenging for the league, we, um, um, regularly competing for Europe as well. Like so, it just shows how far Ballon McCash has come. The, yes, the more yeah. or less, arguably at the minute, probably just ahead of Lisbon and Stilly. So it's it's, it's great it's great for Lisbon in general, and. It's great to come down here. You see the rain's out tonight. Not a great night. It's on the stream, but there's still a very, very good crowd out to watch it. Molly Parker with a long throw into the distillery box, sir. 
comes back to him and a big loop and cross. For Justin Armstrong, Corner. I think Armstrong does really well there to win a throw in for his side. He looked like a lost cause at one stage there, but he's won a, a throw. Surely that's a corner, no? No throw. No throw in. Um, it's very close to the corner flag, Curtis Woods. He finds Jack Smith. Woods with a cross. Mm. That was Zach Barr. He got there just before. It was just the Armstrong, was it? 26, just the front poster. Tracks. Yeah, just headed that, just got in front of the keeper, but the ball over the bar. Yeah, just too much on it. Jordan Morrison commanding at the back there. Jack, Jack Smith charging down the keeper there, but the ball ricochets off him, but doesn't cause any, any issues as Dist Lisburn Distillery attack here. Great ball in there, looking for Matthew Swan. Just fails to connect. Great cross into the box. Another goal kick by Bam Neeson straight down into the distillery box and into the safe hands of, of Ethan Carey. Carey had, who's had a good start to the season for Lisburn Distillery Two Player of the Month awards for them this season. No, he's a very good player. Kim, he spelt he's he's at ourselves in the, our Hamwood Centre and he went on. Not too sure what Irish League club he was at, maybe Orange or something, but then he was East Belfast as well, doing very well. So James is Swift, so Ethan's a very good very good goalkeeper. The wind and rain come down here at the Bluebell. Free kick, easy one for Raymond. Raymond Crangle, the judges that Zach Barr fouled Arn Smith there, so it's going to be a free kick to Lisburn Distillery just inside their own box. 24 minutes gone here at the Bluebell, still Bally McCash Rangers nil, Lisburn Distillery nil. In the Lock 41 Premier Intermediate. Welcome along to all those viewers watching on the Northern Ireland Football League YouTube channel. While you're there, why don't you just give us a like and subscribe to the channel? Some great content on there. Zach Barr here with the ball. Big loop and cross into the Bally McCash box. Jack Smith tries to control. Falls to Sharky. Aaron Sharkey, but he doesn't really catch all of that. And well, that, 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 well that was actually close for Sharkey there, to be honest. <laughs> A man not known for his No, no, no. He scored a couple now under me, but uh, that's that, that's not his forte. He Zach gets about the pitch and the ball. picks up Big plenty of second balls. He's, into he's, the he's an excellent team player. Jack Smith tries to control. We're talking Falls about how far Bally McCash have come, Michael. You, you look at that Premier Intermediate League table. Lots of teams in there, you know, with, with Premiership experience. You look at Bangor, um, Limavada. Limavada United, Lisburn Distillery. Distillery, Armagh City. Yeah, you know, it's, a, it's a strong league, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, and and and, and they're, they're in their own right, and had an excellent start to the year. And that's what I said before at the start of the show as well. They're, they were going to spoil the supporters. They've won three or four, whatever, sitting towards the top of the table, and people expect them to go a minute. Dylan Sinnerton breaking in here into the Bally McCash box. Big two or three players that then just seem to lose lose control of the ball, allowing the Bally McCash defender to pick up. But the that's clear then from danger by Bally McCash. Jack Smith. Jack. Jack Smith here has got goes for oh, oh. a great ball across goal by Jack Smith. Just failed to connect there for Justin Armstrong. Jack Smith doing well to out muscle his, his defender and put a great ball across goal. But yes. Justin Armstrong big, just big chances. <laughs> Came out a bit fast to be honest, Jack sir, but Smith. he'd be very disappointed he went through Don't his legs and seeing the replay here, here now. Yeah. Goes for just got, his, oh, got everything all Great wrong then and for yeah. Zach Barr. Disappointed with that. Had an effort which is deflected over, but it's a, a corner here to, to Bally McCash. Dylan Davidson as a rain, torrential rain now here at the Blue Bell. Davidson with the corner. It's a great corner. Oh. Trying to see who that was at the <laughs> Jordan Morrison. Jordan, told Jordan you. Morrison. Nearly heading from, from land on the ground there. Yeah. Um, but it's been turned round the post. Just my friend Smiders texted me here to give out a mention to Andrew Dixon for his birthday. So happy birthday, Dixie. Is Dixie a Bally McCash fan, Michael? I don't think so, no. <laughs> I think he's a Whites fan. 
You play for the whites, actually. Corner here to Bally McCash. No corner, but that's cleared at the near post. Again, to be very disappointed. That's, that's that's five corners I think they've had, and four. One of it's been really good. Offside. At luck there, like Bobby the, Robinson was, was yeah. going to have a clear run and goal. We <laughs> deft touch sent him through, but the linesman here has his flag up. I'm just saying, with the one corner they almost scored from it, there's been four very poor corners, and Dylan Davis is brilliant quality, and I'm sure he'll be very disappointed in them. Those corners that Dylan Davidson has got wrong. Again, you know, it's very it disappointing. They have ended up in with one of the only really good. Yeah. Yeah. On their own corner, yeah. which, is, which is criminal. It's happened a couple of times. It's Curtis Woods. But his, his ball goes straight out for a throw into distillery, just level with their own 18 yard box. Full fixture list in this evening's Lock 41 Premier Intermediate League. Armassi are at home to Bombridge Town. Lima Valley, they're at home to Port Stewart. Moyola Park, home to Tobermore. And Bangor are at home to PSNI. Distillery here breaking. Decisions, yeah. Through oh. Justin Grattan. Out to Dylan Sinderson. He puts a cross in. Looking for Lewis Higginson. He goes again. Oh, great Bam save, nice. fam. Great save down there. At low at his near post. To Dylan Sinner in the game has yeah. been excellent there. He's, he came through our academy run by Lee Carroll. He's he's excellent player, as we said before, Glen Adam Cliftonville comes through their, their youth setups. He's been he's been the star of the show so far tonight. Yeah, he's he, he's really asked questions so that Bally McCash yeah. defence so far, hasn't he? Yeah, big time. Corner to Lisburn distillery to be talking here by Josh Lynch. He's headed clear. Falls here for Lewis Higginson with an ambitious effort from, from Reams, but here his, his effort on the yeah. half volley goes Grant. well over the Bally McCash bar. Out to just Dylan looking Sanderson, he puts the cross again. in, yeah. looking for Lewis Higginson. Curtis Woods did very well there again, just in front of oh, yeah. that initial cross to the back post. Oh, oh, oh. Orange Smith in there, win that header. Looking at Lisburn Distillery, Michael, what, what do you think constitutes a good season for them? If they get the top six, it'd be a great season for them. Again, I don't think I don't think that that uh, they'll end up going down. That Barry Johnson's, as I said before, a friend of mine. He's brought in some good players there. So again, if they get top six, they'll be very happy that season. Justin Armstrong with a floating cross there, but it evades everybody in the box and goes out for for a throw in. Yeah, I was speaking to Barry before the match, and we were speaking about, you know, I think a reference to that earlier. You know, they have, they've only won when they're opening five league games, but there has been great upheaval at the distillery in the summer. You know, yeah. Roy Alexander was appointed and only lasted a few weeks. And yeah. I think Jack Smith looking to get on the end of that. Oh, that's on Ethan Carey. But Ethan save. Carey's out brilliant to, uh, to narrow the angle just at the edge of his box and, and block that effort from Jack Smith. He must have picked that up at the Hamburg Centre, all the training done with him. <laughs> Came out really, really quickly there. Excellent. You taking the crowd at that, Michael? No, it wasn't me. <laughs> I was there watching just. Those young girls were out making bail and all. Abby McGee, them girls were, were training them. I was inside having a cup of tea. Here's Higginson. Finds oh. Bobby Robinson. Crunching tackle there. <laughs> you hear the thud of the, the ball very, from he's, here. He's very lucky he got the ball. Still here, still with the ball. There's another. This is great, isn't Tackle it? by great. both two committed teams looking to take the three points tonight. <laughs> and on to Dylan Davidson, but he has the ball in the back of the net, but the linesman has his flag up. Darren Murphy there has given me some information as well there. My phone hasn't stopped here, so Murph, don't you worry. I've got your messages here. Don't Dylan worry Davidson, but... He has the ball, the ball in the back of the net. Job, actually. You think he, is that what he's on about? I put it on under 14, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Carry with the big kick up field into the Bally McCash half. Sinnerton, but throw into the Lisburn distillery here as Orange Smith walks up to, to take it just halfway inside the Bally McCash half. He finds Matthew Swan, but Bally McCash defenders are out to clear. Sinnerton puts a cross into the Bally McCash box, but that's cleared. 
finds Jack Smith. He hooks it over his head. And oh. a great ball there by Joshua Lynch. Offside. Looked to have set. Or, sorry, by Zach Ford. Looked to have sent Justin Armstrong through. But again, mm. the linesman has his flag up. Should be no excuse for that there. He's run under it and just um, went a bit too early there. And shouldn't really be from that, not in that position. Carries long kick, but it's straight through to Bam Neeson in the, the Bally McCash goal. <laughs> and Smith here with the throw for Lisburn Distillery. Still Bally McCash Rangers nil, Lisburn Distillery nil. 32 minutes gone here to Bluebell. And a frantic Derby. Full of tackles and commitment. Oh. Good save again. That was just Armstrong oh. that nipped in there. Again, for all the play we've had here, I think the still have been probably the better side, the football that side. And the oh. have had three or four brilliant chances there, and they'd be very disappointed with that with just again. game. Yeah, I'm Carrie was out well to block the angles there. Yeah, no, you have to give Ethan credit as well, but just he's been hot goal scoring four in this season, and he'd be disappointed with that one. Just Armstrong here, right? A Bally McCash from, from Rack 3 Rangers. Scored in both the playoff games last season for Bally McCash. That's seen him promoted to the Lock 41 Premier Intermediate. Corner here to Bally McCash. Dylan Davidson. What can he deliver this time? Better ball. Jordan Morrison. Jordan Morrison. <laughs> heads home. The Bally McCash captain has given them the lead here as he heads home from Dylan Davidson's corner. Better ball. Jordan Morrison. Jordan Hey. Corner here to Bally McCash. Dylan Again, Davidson. just shows you get good what quality in there. Jordan Morrison scored a lot. Many goals he scored Jordan actually. Jordan Morrison. Yeah, from set pieces. Great in the air. I've just seen the defending in the air. He's been brilliant. And we have Dylan Davidson finally has delivered a very, very that's good ball. I was ball. about to say, we've spoke about the quality of Dylan Davidson's corner kicks this evening. Some of them, you know, sometimes have failed to beat them in the near post. That time he got it right. And Bally McCash got their award, reward with Captain Jordan Morrison heading home to give them the lead. Just shows how important set pieces are in football. You, you see, obviously in the Premiership, you got set, set piece specialists coming in to spend lots and lots of time. And, and what way they do now? There, there's no reason because it gets you lots of goals. I'm not too sure what the stats are, but in football, lots and lots of goals to score through set pieces. So you need to make them count. We well, can't go without saying you predicted that since since well, kickoff, Michael. I, I don't want to blow your I, your trumpet for I you. I think that's the only thing I know. So. <laughs> So Bally McCash Rangers won Lisburn Distillery nil. Captain Jordan Morrison giving them the lead here at the Blue Bell. Good tackle. Good Good tackle, tackle by Good Bally tackle. Parker. <laughs> Crunch and tackle there by Maddie Parker. Molly Parker, former Linfield Swift supporter down, a Bally Clare defender. Actually, he brought Molly to Porter down. Now he's there under Ronnie McFall. He played a few games with us. Port or Bally McCash attack here through Jack Smith. Twisting and turning. Oh, a bit disappointed again. He finds Zach Barr, but Zach Barr sends that over the bar from the edge <laughs> of the 18 yard box. Great yeah, trickery there by Jack, Jack Smith. Oh, yeah. Zach Barr really done battle there, Michael. Jack Smith. Big time. Well Twisting done, Jack Smith. Yeah, be very disappointed oh, there. Yeah, not that hard to release from. Is it 13, 14 yards? Yeah, he's, he's inside the 18 yard box there, but his effort goes over the bar. Just gone there by Bobby Robinson. But it's out for a throw in to Bally McCash. Well, Bally McCash Rangers 1, Lisburn Distillery 0 here at the Blue Bell. We're live on the Northern Ireland Football League YouTube channel. So. I hope you are enjoying the game wherever you're watching from. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. There'll be more great content coming throughout the season, including more live streams from throughout the Niffle Leagues. Would you say the goal comes against the run of play, Michael? I know we spoke Not earlier on while Distillery looked looked the, the better team. Bally McCash arguably had the best chances of the game so yeah, far. Yeah, it would be harsh to say it came against the run of play. They had, they had really good chances, but there was... Football being played mostly by Distillery. Again, Bam McCash make no qualms about it, the way they play. It's basically a 4-2-4 with Sharky and Clarkie sitting in the midfield. 
Um, Dylan Davison, Jussie Armstrong pushing way up high in the fullbacks. So literally as a 4-2-4 four, four when they're attacking. And again, the, the, they've got Bam Meeson at the back. A great kick on him. And, and the, that, that's the way they play. It's very, very direct and it's very, very effective. Um, and again, in football, I'm... And that one of these ones likes to pass the ball about the back, but about the back for no reason at all. You get the ball for your to your attacking players as quick as possible. If it's on the play in the midfield, no doubt about it, knock it about. But again, is it needed? Not really. That style of football has obviously worked for Ballymy Cashew Rangers this season. As I say, they're sitting level on points with Bangor at the top of the Lock Forty One Premier Intermediate League. Throw into Distillery. That's. Not well clear there by Bally McCash. Jack Smith helps Again, that on and tries to, to chase his own header. He's got it too. And has got it. Oh, he flashes. Well. He maybe went for, for, an, for an attempt there from an acute angle, but he had maybe Dylan Davidson in a better position there in the box. This is all his own making as well. He, yeah. there's, he had no right to get that ball and he just put the pressure on the defender, so why not hit the shot? You made the chance, you hit the shot. Probably Dylan Davidson wouldn't, wouldn't agree with us, but no, again, he's, he's got it through his own hard work. A sign of a man in form, as we were saying earlier on there, five goals in, in five league games this season since his move from Portadown in the summer. Play on. Referee playing the advantage there. It looked like he was going to blow. He does blow now for a free kick to Bally McCash. Which on Sharky to be fouled. That's one thing. I came here to hammer at Raymond Crangle, but I forgot he's even refereeing. Yeah, that's how that's how good he is. He's Sign of a good referee <laughs> yeah. when you don't notice him, isn't it? But no doubt if I was spent we'd have the yellow card with me already. <laughs> I forget the time I spent at Windsor Park and my dad used to go to every match and used to say he picks you every single time far too early for first tackle. Lo and behold, one of the next matches at Windsor Park in the tunnel of Sam as captain and Raymond stand beside us, he had the yellow card in his pocket, cheekily, so he's want this now or we'll wait the match. <laughs> and I'm a good friend of Raymond, I was raising with him because I actually did book me after about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Goal scorer Jordan Morrison, a judge that handled there in the, the distillery box. That's a free kick to the distillery. 39 minutes gone here to Blue Bell. Ballymy Cash Rangers 1, Lisburn Distillery 0. Jordan Morrison giving Ballymy Cash the lead. <laughs> You're manager, Michael, at Linfield under 18s now. How are you finding that? I actually came into the 18s, but now uh, Davy Dorian left. So from last Christmas, I've been taking the the, the, the reserves under 20s. So, yeah, very good. We, we played Glen Torn last night and we beat them 3-2. So it's always nice to beat the, beat the Glens, obviously. And, yeah, it's, it's going well. I love it. I speak with David Healy and deal with them regularly. And obviously first-teamers coming down, things they got there. So, yeah, it's, it's going really well. I love it. Really, really... Disappointed to leave Balmacast to be honest. I wouldn't have left them for any other club, but I didn't feel come calling. I was obviously my club play for a long time, so uh, no option but to go back, and I'm loving it. Just Armstrong there with a, a loop and cross into the box, but it's over the the Lisburn Distillery Bar. Do you see, you know, with, with the players that you're coaching at Linfield under 20s, you know, would you are you in favour then of those sort of players going out on loan, or for instance, to to a, a lock 41? Premier Intermediate side to get that experience of, of men's football, so to speak. 100%, yeah. That's a free kick there, easy one. Yeah, 100%, because some of our boys are the, they're 18, 19, 20, and they're playing there. And the reserve leagues and that, but it's like when I was playing, I was playing against men. We came, we got nice playing for Linfield Swiss, and now you're playing against very, very, very good players, but they're very young, and first teamers drop down, it's sort of don't get too much from games. So, yeah, I think, I think. Josh Archer, prime example, had to pull it down. He's, I wouldn't say he's wasting his time, but he's, he's too good to play under-20s football and he's not going to break in the Olympics first team at the minute. So for him to go out and play for, for pull it down is, is brilliant. And we've seen the, the examples there of Trey Hume. playing Olympics Swiss went out to Balmain and had an outstanding year and he came back and he was flying for Olympics. Now he's obviously at Sunderland. So yeah, 100% players, 18, 19, 20. As, as much as I don't like them going because it, it weakens our reserve team, but no, it's definitely to go out to... Championship two club or uh, championship club to go and get regular team regular football against tough opposition. It's 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 definitely a massive learning curve for them. It gives them that good footing, doesn't it? Yeah, Going on in their career. Yeah. Holly McCarthy, I think it should be that for the win, but it's a distillery. Orange Smith to take. Looking there for the run of Josh Gratton, but it's through to. Bam Neeson in the Valley McCash. Those very experienced keeper Brian Neeson. Formerly of, of Ards and, and Cliftonville and Carrick. 
to name but a few of his clubs, 33 now. That was a massive coup. Obviously, you get someone like Brand Leeson down here as well, and Kiki on the bench as well. There's, there's plenty of Irish League experience. Obviously, Josh Smith and all playing as well, so, or Jack Smith, sorry. Plenty of experience there. Molly Parker there trying to win that ball. The ball breaks for Distillery. Lewis Higginson. Very Josh impressed Lynch. with this boy, Justin Grabbin. Very, very good. I, you know, I, I was looking at looking at the still being their, their warm up this evening, and we comment, or I commented anyway, on how long or how young the team looked. Yeah. But um, you know, they're playing there with, they're playing well there this evening now. And nice football. Say, so look for this equaliser here at the blue bell. Oh, he was in there. Free kick to Bally McCash Rangers, or sorry, Lisburn Distillery, right on the halfway line here. So they go in search of his equaliser. We're into the last five minutes here, the first half. Game's flew by, Michael, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been good. It's good tempo to it. The game's been flew by Raymond as well. Plenty of tackles going in, but they're, they're... Higginson there with a, a long, been... looping, deep cross, but it evades everybody in the box, including Bam Neeson and over the bar for a goal kick to Bally McCash. Yeah, it's, it's been a very good game for people to watch as well. It's blood and thunder. There's been no people just booting people off the ball for the sake of it. It's been very committed and been very, very impressed and some good football played at times as well. To Bally McCash just inside the Lisburn distillery half. Curtis Woods, another experienced player within the, the Bally McCash ranks, formerly of Ballymena United and Bally Clare, and also a spell at Burnley in his youth. Lovely. Jack Smith here with the ball. Looks for a wee dink cross. Oh, Orange Smith on the keeper there. Oh. And that's a mix up, and that's a second for Bally McCash. I think very disappointed with that goal. I need to see it back again. Yeah, I'm trying to, trying to see. It seemed like a real oh, miscommunication Smith between the keeper there. Oh. And that's a mix up between the Ethan Carey and Orange Smith. Orange Smith. Orange Smith. I'm, I'm Smith not the sure there. Oh. if Dylan Leeds is going to touch on that. I'm not sure if it's just. Oh, Orange Smith and the keeper there. It seems to come off the keeper and straight in off the keeper's legs. But that is now Bally McCash Rangers 2, Lisburn Distillery 0. I think more as the half went on. Bam McCash deserved to go in, be going in at the lead there, but I think two goals is a wee bit harsh in distillery. Hopefully the, the, the don't crumble and just don't concede before half time again. Keep it at two and come out for the second half. Disappointing goal to give away. It's just so close to half time there as well. Yeah. Distillery look for an instant instant reply here. Corner. No. Nope. Dylan Sinnerton with an effort with the outside of his boot, but it lacked any lacked being on target for one but and lacked any real pace with Neeson allowed to gather there so he takes his time here into the 45th minute here at the Blue Bell Bolly McCash Rangers 2 Lisburn Distillery nil in this lock 41 Premier Intermediate fixture Bolly McCash took the lead through Captain Jordan Morrison before from Dylan Davison looked to have added a second for Bolly McCash although we're not sure if the ball was already over the line Via Orange Smith and the distillery goalkeeper when they had a miscommunication. Free kick here, the distillery inside their own box. Might be wet here at the Blue Bell, but there's a bit of singing and Bally McCash supporters yeah, just, are, just are happy people at the moment as they're 2 0 up here. Getting, my phone's red hot here, getting more Billy Joe Byrne just text me, he's saying give the boys a shout out, supporting Big Mick Moore on the bench. <laughs> I don't think Mick Mick Moore's coming on, BJ. Unfortunately, Mick Moore, one of your signings, Michael, and your time. No, no, he is not. He's a, he's an onion. No chance. <laughs> You're not taking the. <laughs> He'll be raised. I said that. No, Michael's a very quality player. He's he's 37 now, but he's he's been brilliant. I've been down to watch him a couple of times this season. He's been very good there. So, no, but he's on the bench this evening. And the injury time here at the Blue Bell. Probably be a minute or two added, if that. Hasn't been many stoppages, I can. I think, I think Raymond Hurr's getting a bit wet there and out yeah. of shape, so he'll blow it up yep. now. He and there he up. does. So half time here at the Blue Bell in this Lock 41 Premier Intermediate fixture. Bally McCash lead at the break. It's Bally McCash Rangers 2, Lisburn Distillery 0. 
goals from Jordan Morrison. And then, and what looks like an own goal, although D- Dylan Davison did try to claim it. Um, but I think replays may show that it came off the Lisburn distillery goalkeeper first.
forwards and back, arms going.
fired over the bar. Uh, but it's still here is Bally McCash Rangers 2, Lisburn Distillery 0. There's a half-time substitution for Lisburn Distillery with 16 James Morgan coming on. What the Lisburn Distillery need to do this second half, Michael, to get back into the game? Is it more of the same as, as we were doing in the first half? Yeah, I think I'll take a few more chances here, get the ball forward a bit quicker. and Obviously, Dylan Sunderland was, was doing really well. and uh, I think it's just a case of maybe not conceding any more goals and believing themselves a bit. It was just actually talking to Barry Johnson on the way over there and just believing themselves a wee bit more. They've definitely got good players there and they've done well that first half and they'll definitely find themselves in fortune to go two goals down. Well, McCash took the lead through their captain. Jordan Morrison in the first half before Dylan Davidson added a second just on the stroke of half time. Free kick here to Bally McCash with Dylan Davidson standing over it. About 30 yards from goal. It looks like he's going to have a go. And he does. But it's straight at Carey who palms the ball down before collecting comfortably. Just some half-time results from in and around the Lock 41 Premier Intermediate League. Was it Limavady 2, Port Stewart 0, Bangor 0, PSNI 0, Armagh City 2, Bombridge Town 0 and Myola Park 1, Tobermore United 1. As things stand at the moment, that will mean that if they stay the same, Bally McCash Rangers will finish this evening on top of the Lock 41 Premier Intermediate League with six games being played. Don Dylan Davidson there, brilliant. For Jack Smith here out on the left. He plays oh. a low ball. Oh! Lost ball. And somehow Justin Armstrong has sent that over the bar from three or four yards out. A great Jack ball Smith across the face of by Jack Smith. He plays oh, a low ball. Bar, didn't it? Yeah. Oh. Did it hit the crossbar and yeah. over? For Jack Smith here right in the, the left. The ball's in Tommy Hilsey's back garden there. He <laughs> plays a low ball. ball. Yeah, oh. you're right. It ricochets off the crossbar. It was, great, it was great play from Dylan Davison putting pressure and won the ball in the midfield there and played the ball out wide. And great ball from Jack Smith and Justy Armstrong, usually clinical in that situation. Obviously, he missed one the first half as well. Justy's a good player and he'll get another chance here, maybe now. Here's Zach Barr. Looks for. Justin Armstrong out here on the right hand side. He puts a cross, tries to put a cross into the Lisburn Distillery box, but it's blocked by Bobby Robinson. In the corner for Bally McCash. I think the next goal of Bally McCash at the third goal. It's, it's, it's game over for the, for the Whites here. And obviously, Barbie told him at half time. Football, it's a, it's a funny game. 2 0. People say it's not a nice scoreline, but obviously, if you're winning 2 0, it's, it's you'll a, take it. It's 100%. So, if Bally McCash get the third goal here, I, I can see it maybe being 4, 5, or 6. So it's important to hang in here for the next 10-15 minutes and if they get the next goal, it'll be, it'll be crucial and set us up for a real good finish to the game. Dylan Davidson stand over the corner. It was his corner that Captain Jordan Morrison gave Bally McCash the lead from in the first half. Davidson with a corner kick. Mm. Caused a wee bit of problems there, but it's been cleared for a throw into Bally McCash. Putting on a, a bit of pressure here in the last few minutes, looking for that third goal. Curtis Woods jogs over to take the throw in. Sweeping rain here at the Blue Bell. Towards Bar with a an acrobatic effort, but it's easy gathered by the distillery keeper Carey. Boots it downfield. Jordan Morrison again. Rock at the back. Let's see, took the words out of my, out of my mouth there. Mike was going to say he's been a rock tonight there for, for Bally McCash at the back and then. Scoring a goal as well. So important to both ends of the pitch. Sorry, I love the centre half goal winning balls in the air at the back, especially, but you've got the added bonus to getting goals. And seen down the years compared to like Linfield, Jimmy Callagher, and Mark Hawkey, and Mark Stafford, the, the goals they scored from set pieces were invaluable. And yeah, he, he's he's massive for the club. Higginson with a cross into the box. Finds its way there to, to Sinnerton, but it's blocked. Grattan picks the ball up here. Puts a cross, but that cross has went out for a goal kick to Bally McCash. You maybe know better than me, Michael, but Jordan Morrison, boyhood Bally McCash supporter from the area, I believe his grandfather's maybe on or was on yeah. the committee as well, isn't that right? Yeah, Peter, yeah. I think I can see Jordan's house from here, actually. Yeah, he's a Bally McCash lad. And obviously, when I signed him here, he was a big coup. He, he stayed for Dundella and they wanted to keep him. And 
I think when he was playing for me and playing for Lee, they, they were still looking at him in other clubs as well, Bangor and all. So, yeah, he's, he's a great player, but he's, he's, he's seen the vision of what, what the club want to do and he's bought into it and um, hopefully he can drive one to, to, to push up the leagues here in the next couple of years. Molly Parker with a crunching tackle there. Stubby player plays it back to keeper Carey, who clears his lines. Off. Just Armstrong tried to hook that. Stuart Clark. Great ball. Goal what a ball. Goal. Finding Justin Armstrong there at the back post. But he just tell Dylan Davis some of the quality he has. I know we're hammering about the first half for set pieces, but he's, that ball across the park, the face of goal was brilliant. Just needed Justin Armstrong to be Stuart in there, but it's good defending. Great Dylan ball. Davis and Colin Clark waiting. Spells are cool rain and Glenn Torn as well as, as up not Breda. Showing that bit of class here this evening with that ball across goal. Throwing here the distillery. Just in front of us here. Just nearly on the halfway line. Bobby Robinson with a long throw. Hopped on there by Lewis Higginson. But that makes his way back through to, to Bomb Leeson in the Bally McCash goal. Whenever you came in as, as player manager to Bally McCash, Michael, what vision were you sold with as a club? You know, you're, you say you're, you're your local lads, you know all about the club, but you know, what's the vision to, to get into those that that pyramid of, of the Niffle Leagues? See, to be honest, at the start, not really. I think the club finished 7th or 8th in the, in the Mid-Oster League, so they, they were looking for something to come in, whatever. And obviously, I just finished playing, and I've, I've lots of contacts in the game, whatever, and I found it easy, easy to bring players of, of good calibre, and boys who, who could still do a job in the Irish League, so it sort of came down, but there was no expectation, no whatever, I think just wanted to stabilise the club and put them on the map, whatever, and still get tortured of the day, Belfast Live were doing an article every week on us, and it was it was brilliant, and I feel really proud of to have helped the club, and obviously I think I started off with what's happening now, and Lee for Scythe, no doubt about it, it's come on, brought them even better players, and pushed them on even more so, which, again, when you're leaving the club, you want them to do well, and I sort of was leaving and Lee for Seth came in, but he just picked up where I left off and went even better. So, yeah, really, really proud of to have helped him in, in some sort of wee bit. And like we were playing here in the grass pitch, the 4G pitch wasn't put down, whatever. And I was promised it was coming, but to hear all these stories about your promise this, your promise that, whatever. But lo and behold, they came in, they, they put it in, and the crowds would come down to the matches, and they're going to get all this, all the change rooms and facilities and the bar and all up. All up and done um, as well through the sports academy. So yeah, there's a great vision. There, there's there's great prospects, and they've got a great catchment area around here. And obviously, Lee for Sage put in some excellent players from the Irish league. So it's very very exciting, and I'm just happy now for people to see it here. And oh, I'm looking yeah, it's 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 just real real. You get that community feel. Yeah, at the club, don't you? Definitely is here. All the people around this here watching. These are all these are all Balmain cast people in Lisburn, people and families and friend members and. Uh, yeah, it's it's just real, real good, and I love coming down to watch matches whenever I don't have a game myself. And Jack Smith really under me as he run here, but he, his passer looking for for Stuart Clark, but just cut cut in front. Yeah, look at some of the players that you know that you brought in when you came into the club. You Darren Murray, Rory, Rory Patterson, Tim Mountsey, David Armstrong, real Tim Mountsey. Don't be talking about him. Tim Mountsey's <laughs> listening. That was the worst sign in the world. He didn't even get a tracksuit. No, uh, no, Tim's one of my best friends. He was brilliant, but Tim was was just came for the experience and all. But no, it was it was brilliant to get those players down. It shows you the friends I had in football and the trust that people had and bringing those players down. It, it was great and it definitely helped the club and for boys who've been playing by McCast to play with those boys. It, it was brilliant, like and they all had different qualities and. Yeah, it was very good. And the boys had no hesitation coming down. And Sinerton. Great ball. Sinerton, and he finds, I think that's Matthew Swan that scored there. That's pulled the goal back for Lisburn Distillery. Again, Dylan Sinerton, the main man for yeah. the Whites tonight. Great, Great ball, ball in. in like yeah. They all had different qualities. And yeah, it was the ball very good. In there, the boys had no hesitation Molly coming down. And Great ball. Cross, Great ball. Cross goal. Sinerton, and he and finds Matthew Swan to, to knock the ball into the net from around six yards yeah, out. Yeah, it was very Bally good. The boys had no hesitation coming down. and Lisburn Distillery won. Sinerton, on the cash here, sat to make a, a double substitution. Kike and Michael Moore. Michael Moore and Kike, yes, set to come on. Two quality players played against. Kike actually retired me at Crusaders, flipping, threw me about like, like a rag doll. <laughs> no, well, he's, a, he's a great lad. Great Ash League experience, yeah, there, yeah, doesn't yeah. he? Brilliant player. Yeah, very, very good. People say he'd be too good for this level, but I have to go down and perform anyway as well. Excellent player. And obviously, Michael Moore's 37, been around Amateur League a long time, but. He's, he's, he's an excellent player at, at this level. Really going to be a game of it now, Michael, isn't it? 
hundred percent. I thought it just looked like Val McCash would get the third goal. That's probably the best they've played in the game, but they haven't scored and the whites were a bit out of it there and they got a goal down there through Dylan Cylinder and it was a great finish and set the game up nicely tonight for us. Just shows how much a, a game can swing. You know, a, a couple of minutes ago there is it Justin Armstrong's efforts yeah. pinging off the bar, a third goal and like you say, it, it would maybe be a case of this could go on to be five or six yeah, same, couple of minutes. I was, just doing, I was doing the commentary down the game at, at Windsor Park on Saturday and then people the same two down and we got the goal just for half time. They committed the second half and could have, maybe should have got the two each but then obviously Lang got the third or fourth goals and it was game over. So something similar tonight then. Yeah. The game for us, for us watching as neutrals here, we, we were, were hoping for it to still re-go to make it more of a match here, which now we've got. What do those changes add for Bally McCash? What are they looking to do with those changes, Michael? Score, score more goals. Yeah, KK is obviously strong as a pool. Great finisher. Michael Moore gets goals as well. Like, so no doubt about it. There's Michael Moore straight away. Michael Moore straight in here. Offside. He's, off, he's offside this side here, yeah. The still a keeper carry palmed that away, but Michael Moore judged to be offside there. You give Raymond Crang a run for his money here. I can guarantee you, as good as the lad is, Michael Moore will be booked here tonight. Trust me. Rocket. <laughs> Another player he scored in that second leg of the, that all important playoff game back in May to, to gain promotion for Bally McCash Rangers. Yeah, he's been brilliant since he's came. Got plenty of goals and he knows the league inside out and played his strengths. I can be was actually with the still I think he joined him in yeah, 2013 right. and had a spell a spell there with the Whites. Um, and McCash cross into the boxer coming from Dylan, Dylan Davidson. Throw in the Bally McCash. Been a great advert so far this evening. This game hasn't it, Michael? For the yeah, Lock 41 Premier League. Been delighted. Weekend. People are looking at the reason A prize this why is this game on. We're, we're getting this game streaming, whatever. Like, but when this is first hand and how good the club is, and yeah, it's. I'm just glad we've actually got to show it to people and show what, what type of game we have down here. Maddie Park with a long throw, but that's cleared and then helped on. No Sharky, but he's dispossessed. Here we go. James Morgan, the substitute. Oh. Cross across goal and there. Nice equaliser for Distillery. Lewis Higginson has equalised for Lisburn Distillery here on the R mark. James substitute James Morgan possessed. seen his effort saved by Bam Neeson. James Morgan but substitute. Higginson was there to, to knock the ball into the net. Cross across goal and Beat the ball into the ground with a bounce in going over. Lewis. But Bam Neeson. Bolly McCash go. Rangers 2, Lisburn Distillery 2. James Morgan the substitute. What a game I have now today. I didn't see that coming at all the half time. Cross across goal and it's all the Palma Cash here now. But they didn't play overly well the first half. They were 2 0 up, but I thought they were actually come out and done well the second half. And uh, Fair play to the Distillery that they've went about and changed it. Barry Johnson, we'll have to give him tremendous credit. They've come out, they've made a change, and they've got two good goals. Great pulsating Lisburn Derby here at the Blue Bell. Bally McCash Rangers were 2 0 up, Lisburn Distillery. Two second half goals of drawn level here. Lisburn Distillery manager Barry Johnson here telling his players to relax, calm down. But they look like their tails are up there looking for to take the lead here for the first time this evening. Grattan trying to look for, for Sinerton, but it's Michael Michael Moore here for, for Bally McCash. But Bobby Robinson is there with a slide tackle to prevent that. That effort from from Moore troubling Lisburn distillery keeper carry corner to Bally McCash really end to end stuff here to Bluebell to look for for Sinnerton, but Moore had Michael substitute Moore Michael broke Moore down here, here for, down for Bally right, McCash looking for the shot across oh, goal but there was a sliding challenge by Robinson to divert the ball out for a corner to Bally McCash Dylan Davison stand over it a rock of players in the box waiting for the delivery Davison with the corner. Cleared at the near post by Smith. Just still be now breaking here. Oh, lovely. Through Dylan Sinnerton. He looks, oh, plays a great ball, but Sharky, <laughs> almost an own goal there. He had to stretch out for it there. He's done brilliant to intercept it, but almost went in his own net. He looks the ball across the edge of the Bally McCash. But Sharky, <laughs> Sharky, he had to stretch a leg out to prevent it, find it. 
finding the Lisburn, the incoming Lisburn distillery attacker. His sliding, sliding tackle, then putting the ball out just through the out reached arms of Neeson and out for a corner. Corner the distillery sent in. Falls here to number six, Sinerton. But following me, cash break. Looking for Jack Smith. He looked to be hauled down, but he plays on, picks up the ball. Challenger by Bobby Robinson. A great challenge. And it had to be on Jack Smith just inside the Lisburn distillery box. And he clears. End to end game. Fantastic game here at the Bluebell. Michael Moore. Parker with a loop and cross into the box. Flicked on. Mm. Oh! Ball fell for substitute Michael Moore. He hit it on the turn and it hits the base of the post. So close Parker to Bally McCash. Re into the, the box. It's hard to keep up with at the minute. Yeah, no, it is. Big thing at the oh. post, isn't it? Yeah. Ball. Both teams giving their all here. Look. Both teams going in search of a third goal to take the lead. Say Bally McCash Rangers were two nil up three goals through Jordan Morrison and Dylan Davidson. But has been to still be a peg them back with goals from Matthew Swan and Lewis Higginson. Curtis Woods, a challenger, Jack Smith with the hooked ball, but there's nobody there. Ball here with Bobby Robinson right on the byline. He's urged to, to play on. He sends the ball up the left-hand side. It's met by Swan. But he miscontrols it. But back with Bobby Robinson. He rushes that. Clearance didn't really have to do that. Here's Michael Moore. Jinx tries to jink away from his, his marker there, Jack Patton. But he doesn't. To still be pick up. Lewis Higginson here with the ball. Looks for Morgan. Morgan with the cross. It's headed clear by Morrison. Half done by Woods. Ball falls back here. And that for Dara cross today. goal. Almost met. I think the ball was in from, from Sinerton. Almost okay. met by Swan inside the six yard box. And that for Dara cross goal. here. And that for Dara. The ball just at the edge of the box. Sort of a shot across goal. Just just outside the boot of Swan, who if connected would surely have sent the ball into the net. Jack Smith picks it up here for Bally McCash. Grip. All in by Sorry. Dylan Davison, but the linesman has his flag up here. Another hello to those watching from afar and maybe more locally this evening. Hope you're enjoying this Lock 41 Premier Intermediate League game. Watching those watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and and give us a like there. Lots of great Irish League content on there with more to come throughout the season. Mr. Beatty's hiding the sweets here behind us here. <laughs> Willie Wonka behind us uh -huh. here. Huh? Has burnt to study come forward. The loose ball lurks back with Woods in the ball in the right back slot. He looks for the the run of Jack Smith, but there's just too much pace on the ball. It runs through to the Lisburn Distillery goalkeeper. Punt up field, cleared by Morrison and Woods boots the ball up field. Kike all across looking for Davidson, doesn't find him. Joshua Lynch here in the midfield with the ball for Distillery. Higginson turns in, but this burnt Distillery manager boy Johnson barking orders from, from the dugout. It's his distillery team look to to complete the comeback here and grab a third goal to take the lead for the first time this evening. 
Kerswoods wins that header. Sharkey. A long ball looking for the, the ever energetic Jack Smith. Free kick the distillery, much to the discontent of Michael Moore. He's a judge to backed into his man. It's him and referee Raymond Krangle exchange different views on that challenge. <laughs> called it. He's been good, Michael. He has made a he's made a, a difference there since he come on, hasn't he? Holding the ball up and like say hit the post. Yeah, he's he's a he's a, he's a good honest player. Yeah, he knows where the back of the net is there, and he would be disappointed that one came back off the post. But I think there's be 23, 24 minutes left, and I don't think the, the goals are finished tonight, Johnny. No, it's certainly not. Been a pulsating game here at the Blue Bell. Hopefully, haven't cursed. Hopefully, you haven't cursed it here too, no. but Your prediction's been spot on tonight, so I hope that one's <laughs> wrong, Michael. Yeah. Throwing here to Bali McCash. Level with their own box. Looks like there's going to be a substitution here, is it? Double, yep. Thomas McComb and. Um, Jonathan Newell. Home and Newell coming on for Bally McCash. Double substitution there. McComb. First port of call will be to take this throw in. Home with the throw. But it's met by Robinson with a firm header. Sinnerton's there. There's a ball, but it's straight through to Bally McCash, keeper. Nice, nice with the punt up field. Patton is on to it. Oh. Headed back by Smith. It's almost short. Carey does get there, but he spills it. And Smith is there to clear. Another free kick here to Distillery. Jonathan Newell there, the substitute the judge to have committed the foul. To see who that is down for. For Distillery to see him in a bit of, bit of pain. I think it might be Jack Patton. Holding his ankle. Looks like he's going to need some sort of medical treatment here. Physio on, but. I don't think he has a physio on. <laughs> Freeman's no interest there. He knows what he's at. Referee Raymond Krangle getting his attention called to that. He waves on the Lisburn Distillery physio, but there doesn't seem to be any <laughs> anybody coming on. Bobby Lisburn Distillery just trying to take the sting out of the game here for a minute or two. Hotton seems to be limping heavily. Into the last 20 minutes here at the Blue Bell. Bolly McCash Rangers 2, Lisburn Distillery 2. Corner to Distillery. McComb seemed to have got ahead to that ball. Which I throw in right at the corner flag here for Distillery. Bobby Robinson jogging down to take it. Robinson who just returned to Northern Ireland in the summer after playing community football in the United States. It's actually a battle of McCash and I was here as well, young Bobby. Remember those hours for your first team games? James Morgan here trying to win a corner but unsuccessfully. Order's been barked from the Bally McCash <laughs> Rangers dugout here. Said, try to look for a winner. Newell. Senaton here with the ball. Just great there. <laughs> Side ball. Oh. Uh, he's the been, ball he's been first play. class, Dylan yeah. Senaton. Excellent. Very, very impressive. Hasn't given Matty Parker a minute's pace the whole game. Twenty-seven year old Parker, a very experienced as we were talking about earlier on, Linfield Swifts, Porter Down, Bally Clare. Dylan Davison with a loop looking for Kike. He tried to look for the pass out to Newell, but or Jack Smith didn't come off. 
big Ooh. looping ball in, but McCarry's there, he spills it. But his defence is on hand to help him out and clear the ball. Into the 73rd minute here to Bluebell. Robinson again on the end of that. Throw in to Bally McCarry's halfway, more than halfway inside the Lisburn Distillery half. Moore. Out to McComb. Corner. His cross is diverted. Corner to Bally McCash. That was a clever play from Michael Muller. Holds the ball in. Just knocks it back to Thompson Comb. Just a simple thing. Yeah. Things are noticed in football. Next they got Smith there. It was nice. Off. Good play. And Barry Johnson's a good for a free kick. Here, even, but no, he he spills no, I don't it. think it was either. Looking at that replay. Jordan Morrison bang. 3-2. What do you say? Drinks on you if this, if this yeah. happens, Michael. <laughs> Dylan Davison to take the corner here. Hey, look at the fight of the keeper! It's cleared at the near post, I think. Before McCart here will bring it away for, for Distillery. He finds Higginson. Great tackle. But a great Sharky. tackle there by Sharkey. Back to Kike Sharkey, but he's mm -hmm. misplaced that pass, gets it all wrong, presents it to, to Bobby Robinson, who breaks through here. Picked up, but that's another foul there by Newell. Free kick to Distillery. Alan McCash seemed to have this game all under control. Started off the second half, hit the bar within five minutes. It was two all. Hit the bar, hit the post oh, as well. Yeah. There's actually probably more chances the second half, but. Joshua Lynch here standing over this free kick about 30, 35 yards from goal. He goes for the long daisy colour, but it's cleared by Jonathan Newell up to Kike, but <laughs> Robinson giving him close attention. Moore back to Kike down this right hand side. Kike with a great cross, oh. but it's straight into the arms of Kerry in the Lisburn distillery goal. I think it was the right idea there. The right idea, but the execution wasn't. Parker looking for his goalkeeper, but offside. I think it's offside. Rain just not coming down as heavy here at the Bluebell as it was earlier on. I got injured here. <laughs> just doing commentary. <laughs> Never mind that Lisburn physio <laughs> coming on for, for oh, their well. players. Get it over here for you, Michael. Sharky heads it back on, headed away. Moore, but Higginson's there. Very dangerous on the break here. Here we go He's again. Grabbing. I'll, I'll cut out the Maddie. Maddie Parker with a cross field pass, looking for Kike. Keeper. Oh, the keeper seemed to caught in two minds there. Kike got the shot away just uh, at the tight angle there in the box, but it goes harmlessly across the face of goal tonight for, to for a goal kick. Very dangerous on the break here. Here we go He's again. Grabbing. He's always I'll dangerous on the Maddie. As I said before, he's a quality Parker player. Cross back field pass there, looking for Kike. Keeper. There. Yeah. Oh, the keeper's cross field pass from Molly Parker. Found Kike coming into the box there, the right hand side. The keeper so, sort of came and then Bobby Robinson was there as well. Kike won the race, but as I say, just flashed his, his effort harmlessly across goal. There's a there's another, there's a Lisburn distillery player down here in the centre circle. Looks like he's about to be substituted. Looks like Carson Elliott is set to come on here for Lisburn distillery. Trying to see who's, who that is going Justin on. Justin Grattan, is it? Number eight. It's a very good game in there. Yeah, it does. Good hard tackles. Justin Grattan going off there for Lisburn distillery. Walking off a wee bit gingerly. A, a great game there this evening for, for Lisburn Distillery, the 20 year old. Into the last 15 minutes here at the Bluebell. Bally McCash Rangers 2, Lisburn Distillery 2 in this Lock 41 Premier Intermediate League game. Great header. Newell helps that on. Kike Azar, Moore looking for the run of Jack Smith. Jack Smith here that. He miscontrols the ball, though it sort of runs away from him and out for a goal kick. Those of you watching on the Northern Ireland Football League YouTube channel, they've been treated to a great game here. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. As I say, there's lots of great content on there from all throughout the Northern Ireland Football League with more to come. There'll be more live streams from from the the Championship and the, the Premier Intermediate League as well as the, the Women's Premiership throughout the season. So make sure you subscribe to not miss out on anything there. Sinnerton with the long throw there looking for the Elliot, but it's cleared. Bobby Robinson. Bobby Robinson's done well there at left back this season as well, hasn't he? I had him for two years in Laurel Hill and he was a nightmare in class, but he's he's, he's done brilliant tonight. They're very impressed. He's up against Kiki now. He's different yeah. different level here. Kiki's so, so strong. and Obviously, Bobby's very slight, but he, 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 would, go, he would cut you in two. No bother. Morgan with the cross. Looking for... Yeah. Looking for Swan, who possibly should have done better with that. Yeah, he had a chance there. He's disappointed. He kicked the ball away there. Great ball. Great cross in there by substitute Morgan. But Swan got his header all wrong. What is Lisburn's distillery's mentality at this point, Michael? You know, they've come back from 2-0 down. They've won, they've won league win all season. Did they be content with what they have and try and see this out, or, or did they go and look for a winner? It's, it's, it's a dodgy game to do out there. I, I, I think so. You would obviously be you take a speak to Barry Johnson for the match now. And Barry's not silly. But you would take a job before the match, one hundred percent. And the way things are going in the second half, they look very dangerous on the break. Had a wee chance there as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if they went and nicked the winner. And they're, they're very capable of doing it. But obviously, Val McCash will the firepower up front. They're, they're still very dangerous as well. So. Yeah. Again, anything could happen. If you if you ask both managers now, Lee for South, no doubt, we'll be looking for a winner. Barry Johnson would, would happily say, shake his hand, walk off, take a point. Substitute Moore there at Bally McCash forward. Clapping his hands, trying to, to G up his team, trying to look for that winner to keep them level on points at least. At the top of the lock, 41 Premier Intermediate table. Halftime banger were drawn, nil-nil with PSN at Clandy Boy Park. Look up here's Moore. Moore out to Kike here at the right hand side. Kike across to the, the back post looking for Dylan Davison, but he overhits that. On the side for a throw into the Lisburn Distillery. As somebody, uh, as, as a coach now at the under 20s, and somebody, for instance, like Boy Johnson there, Michael, you know, you've both been there, one league titles, Boy with Cliftonville, yourself with Linfield. Would somebody like Boy, do you find it frustrating sometimes because of, you know, you're you're used to that winning and playing with top level players, and then when you're becoming the manager, you're obviously cutting your teeth at, at, a, at a lower level of, of club or a lower level of, of, of player. Does that get frustrating? But no, you you can't. You have to you have to be, be sensible with your expectations. Obviously, Linfield was so so successful at times, but obviously at times of bad spells as well. No, so no, you you have to just be sensible with your expectations, as I said, and and obviously you can't get too frustrated. No, whatever you've seen, world class managers all across the world, play, managing players who are nowhere near as good as them. So no, it's, it's all about obviously me with the twenties now. It's all about developing as players and trying to get them in towards our first team and trying to embed that mentality that, that Linfield have. It's, it's about winning as, as as much as you can, but. No, if I can take a wee bit of um, getting that installed in them at an early age, I'll, I'll be doing my job. Is it Ian Michael to re, you know to return to? I know that you're on at the under twenties now. Is it a, an ambition or an aim? Yeah, to, to, to return to management, you know, at at a, at a championship or a Premier Intermediate team or, or even in the Premiership. I don't think so. Um, at the minute, I'm very very happy where I am. I don't think I would go down the Championship or, or Championship Two, whatever. Um, very happy unless something comes up that, which you literally can't turn down but I love the plan for jobs looking here and everywhere I'm, I'm very happy with what I'm doing at the minute working with Linfield and I'm sort of having a read tiny bit of saying the first team as well David Healy and Ross Oliver on a regular basis so no not at all I, I'm, I'm happy I've, I've cut my teeth here Bam McCash I loved it I, I thought I could, I, could, I could do it very easy I could, I could do senior football easy no no bother at all any club in, in my opinion like Maybe people might mightn't agree there and might soon find out. But no, I'm very happy with what I'm doing at the minute and as I say I'd not be running about looking jobs here, there and everywhere. Yellow card there for Bolly McCash left back, Molly Parker. First yellow card of the evening, I think. Yeah, it's just taking Molly quite quite a bit of time and he played for his big after about fifteen minutes every game. Oh, oh. I recovered well. It looked like the Patton had lost control there by under pressure from Smith, but he recovered well. It's Higginson. Looks for Lynch. Lynch twisting and turning it halfway inside his own half. 
goes back to Orden McCart on loan from Larne. Here's Lynch. Finds his way out here to Get it. Why not? Halford there from Sinnerton. Didn't really trouble Neeson, who was equal to it. Jack Smith comes deep to receive the ball. Quiet night for Jack Smith tonight, hasn't it? Yeah, a few flashes in the first half there, but Jack will be quite frustrated as well. You can see him there getting a bit frustrated. A bit of a loose touch there as well, but we all know his quality. There's a bit of time, so maybe a wee bit of magic from Jack towards the end. and might sing like the winner. Offside, and it looks like another substitution here. Um, Ball McCash. Looks like Dylan Davidson is going to be replaced by Joshua McKee. And Josh as well is, was here when I played as well. Josh scored some very important goal for us. He's a young player, very hungry. Again, he gets a chance, no doubt Josh will, will probably take it. Oh. Don't not. know if the substitute happened there, no? No. It looked like Dylan Davison was running over, but I don't think any just substitution just happened. Just sides here. Yeah. Swap sides with Kike. Kike and I out on the left, Dylan Davison out on the right. Into the last 10 minutes here at the Bluebell. Bally McCash Rangers 2, Lisburn Distillery 2. Davison. McComb. Davison picks the ball up. Yeah. Looks like a fouler from, from Higginson, and it is. An easy one for Raymond there again. Second yellow card of the evening. Goal scorer. Lewis Higginson enters uh, Raymond Crangle's black book. Barry Johnson telling Raymond Crangle how to do his job. <laughs> I'll be that hmm. luminous yellow top maybe puts by off. Yeah. A comb with a big loop and cross into the box, headed away by the distillery and then cleared by Lynch. Defend the very well the distillery for a player young boys to back. here. Cleared up feed by Smith. Sharky's there to win it. Great ball. Great ball there to find Jack Smith out on the right hand side here. Up against Robinson. Looks to put a cross into the box, but blocked by Robinson. Out first throw into Bally McCash. Smith with a throw in. Sinnerton helps that on. But McComb. Josh McKay is on. What's happened here? We've missed someone. We've missed somebody, yeah. <laughs> somebody has. Oh. Flicked away by Smith. Almost into the path of Kike. Out for a throw in, though. Kike takes it quickly. Maddie Parker controls. Puts a big, long, looping ball down the throat of McCary. Has to punch while under pressure. But then cleared. It looked like it was going to cause issues there in the box, but the still defender is equal to it. Great tackle again. Dylan Sullivan has been unbelievable tonight, to be fair. Had a great game, Sullivan. Bobby Robinson in there in front of Smith. Play on, referee had to play on. Brings the ball on. Robinson <laughs> encouraged by his manager to drive forward. Done, Bobby. Goes in the field. Lynch. <laughs> looks like Sinnerton is limping quite heavily here in the, the halfway line gingerly Kike battling there with Free kick. Yep, easy one. With McCart he's a judge though to have bundled into McCart and that's a free kick to distillery <laughs> lots of boos coming from the Bally McCash support here as Lisburn Distillery look to make a substitute. Jordan Shearer set to come on for Distillery. As in the background, Barry Johnson and Raymond Krangle have a very deep and meaningful conversation. Trying to see who this is coming off from for Distillery. But <laughs> in comes Jordan Shear. 
think it was at Lago- or Sheer was at Lagol, I think, had a spell there. I think they'll have them as well. So yeah. young, young boy came through our academy as well, with Tottenham as well, myself and Barry Johnson, so Barry's well familiar with, with young Jordan. A kick up feed by Neeson. Joshua Cahoon was up there nice to win. I wasn't a free kick there. Free kick. They're judged. Mm, sleeping. Raymond Crangle are judges. John Hanuel there to. Raymond's getting soft in his old age. Higginson, much to the dismay of the Bally McCash support and dugout. Into the 80th minute here at the Blue Bell. Still be here with a free kick just on the halfway line. Gordon McCart set the take. He goes short, finds Bobby Robinson. Robinson no tries plan. to put a cross into the box. It's charged down now by Jonathan Newell for a distillery corner. Josh Lynch jogs over to take. It's distillery look to wind out the clock here a bit. Try to to get back to New Grove there with a point or maybe three they have a corner here corner put into the box to the back post <laughs> I don't know what happened there but it just, there's, the corner went to <laughs> find a free to still be played at the back post his effort was palmed palmed away by Neeson and then there seemed to be claims of they still seemed to be claiming for something I don't know if it was, <laughs> they thought the ball had went over the line or what it was I think Ravens lost his whistle here. Back on here at the Blue Bell. Sorry about that. Just a few technical difficulties there, but you haven't missed anything. We're back on here at the Blue Bell. Bally McCash Rangers 2, Lisburn Distillery 2. Just a great ball around the, around the corner there by substitute Shearer. They have a, a throw in Distillery into the last minute here at the Blue Bell. Paul Satan, first league Lisburn derby here. Bally McCash Rangers had been leading 2-0 going into the going into the halftime break actually but two quick fire goals from Lisburn to still be early in the second half seeing that pegged back but both teams looking or in search for a winner here in these last Dan moments here's Shearer but key wins he's on he's on Michael Moore was sent clear there his effort though Palmed away by the keeper. That's a massive chance for Michael Moore there. Great chance there for Bally McCash. They were calling all Moore was there. clear through, went for the effort from the edge of the box. Lisburn keeper Kerry was down to, to narrow the angle. He palmed away the effort. Guilt edge chance there for, for Bally McCash to, to take the lead late. Late in this game. Cahoon with a long diagonal ball. Falls to Jack Smith. Smith with a shot across goal. Well done, took, a, took a wee nick. There nearly fell for Kike, but McCarry was there to bravely claim. Both teams here going forward in the last last minute or two here at the Blue Bell. Molly Park with a big punt up field. Shearer looking, but ball with Parker. Parker with the ball up the, the left hand side. Orange Smith just hooks that clear. Lisburn just still be nearly in danger there of, of overplaying and overthinking it there instead of clearing their lines and presenting Molly McCash with a chance to, to grab a very late winner here deep in injury time at the Blue Bell. Maddie Parker looking for the long throw. Everybody bar one Lisburn player or in the, the, the Lisburn just still be boxes. Molly McCash going in search of a winner here. Jack Smith 
Smith charges forward, goes your <laughs> cynical attempted foul there by Bobby Robinson. Don't think we'll see a don't think we'll see a clear foul on that this evening. Young Bobby. Much did it. <laughs> Maybe, mate. I Jack guess the knew what he was doing there. Could hear the flick of Dodgers' forwards from here as he tried to bring down Seneca. Jack Smith, much to the displeasure of his manager, Boy Johnson. A dangerous free kick here for Lisburn Distillery. We're in the, or for Bally McCash, sorry. We're in the third minute of entry time here at the Blue Bell. Jack Smith standing over this free kick. I think I've seen Raymond Single in three minutes there, possibly, so we're probably last chance here for Bally McCash. Yeah. Smith standing over this. Looking for somebody to get on the end of it to grab a very late winner for Bally McCash. Smith with the ball in the back post. Offside. But it's offside. Yeah, you can't be doing that there in the last Cardinal minute. Cardinal sin in the last minute with a free kick into the box, Michael, isn't it? Yeah, big time there. They got away with, got away with one there. Yeah. I'm sure here Lisburn to still be keeper carry. But look to take his time over this. So we're over over the three minutes allocated injury time here at the Blue Bell. <laughs> Carry with the kick. Oh. oh. Ball nearly fell perfectly for Elliot. He just couldn't get his foot around it. And he sends that attempt high and wide. And that should be that if the, the three minutes of allocated time by. I thought I'd seen three minutes. Yeah, four fingers up. Raymond Crangle looking at his watch. No closer, though, to putting the whistle in the mouth. Marshall with a big punt upfield. Looking for. Justin Grattner. We're into the. Into the fifth minute of entry time here at the Blue Bell. Throw into Bally McCash. This must surely be the last last throw of the dice for Bally McCash as they go for a late, late winner. Two balls on the pitch at the minute. Lisburn to still aren't in any hurry to get the second ball off as Maddie Parker comes over to the far side to launch this throw in into the, the Lisburn Distillery box. Dylan Davison being encouraged to get in. Big long throw, but it's headed out. It's a corner to Bally McCash. Which is a surely, I know, sound a bit like I'm repeating myself here. Into the, the fifth minute of injury time, corner to Bally, Mc, Bally McCash Rangers. Has to be, surely. Minutes, With this injury time positive, now, there's been a number of substitutions in the second half. Corner is taken by Newell. Oh. It's us. And that is us. It finishes here at the Blue Bell, Bally McCash Rangers 2, Lisburn Distillery 2 in the Lock 41 Premier Intermediate League. Bally McCash had taken a 2-0 lead into the halftime break through goals from J Captain Jordan Morrison and Dylan Davidson. But Lisburn Distillery hit back in the second half with goals from Matthew Swan and Lewis Higginson. So it ends here at the Blue Bell. Bally McCash Rangers 2, Lisburn Distillery 2. What do you think, Michael? How would you sum that match up? I think it's probably a fair result, yeah. Um, Bally McCash, or sorry, Distillery were dead and buried there, and then second half came out. Bally McCash actually done well, but Distillery came, got two goals, and had a few wee half chances towards the end, and Bally McCash didn't over, overly threaten the last 15, 20 minutes like I thought they would have done, and I must say, too, Dylan Sutherland probably stand out for me tonight, man, the match. Bobby Robinson not too far behind him, but... Yeah, Barry Johnson take massive heart from that. Bam McCash has been flying all season. Um, for them to come here, 2 0 down half time, made a reach few changes, 100% spot on. Brilliant. Um, Michael, really enjoyed your company this evening. Thanks for joining me. Um, I hope those watching at home enjoyed our coverage here this evening of this Lock 41 Premier Intermediate League fixture. Um, watching there on our on the YouTube channel of the Northern Ireland Football League. While you're there, don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. As I say, loads of great, great content on there. And we plan throughout the rest of the season to bring more live streams from the Championship and the Premier Intermediate League. But from a, a wet Blue Bell Stadium here in Lisburn, thanks for your company this evening. And I hope you enjoyed the game.